Hello. We've been adding a speed control to the dark ride cart. What we've done today is spent some time building uh, this assembly which will ride under the cart. This wheel is a speed encoder or a rotary encoder rather to measure speed. Uh, as the cart moves around we needed this to be able to pivot and rise and fall uh, in small changes in elevation. So this will be under the cart. Right about here. Um, so it'll trail behind and as the cart moves this can turn as it needs to and that will connect to this speed controller with frequency feedback. So this encoder will talk to this circuit and will tell this motor to speed up or slow down. Uh, why are we doing this? Well we discovered different loads. Uh, a group of small kids or a couple of adults made the cart run differently and this will adjust the power according to how much weight is on the uh, cart. So if it's not going fast enough it'll give the motor more power to get back up to speed. Uh, with little kids it was coming through too fast and some of the timing on the props were off uh, because the cart was leaving the scene before it finished. So this gives us much tighter control. So I have the feedback wheel and the new electronics installed. There's a feedback wheel right there. And then here is the new electronics. Simple little circuit board by Polulu. Uh, currently, I am running some diagnostics to determine what changes I need to make because there's a lot I could program in here. So now I'm hopping on the, the cart and I've made no changes and it's still maintaining speed. And so now I'm going to hop off the cart and you see it hasn't sped up. And that's all because of this circuit board here and that feedback wheel right there. Hello, again, a few changes to the cart, actually quite a bit, and I'd like to go over them. Here on the back, I've taken away all of the old electronics. I have added a new controller, which I showed you previously, but let me show you what goes along with that. Here's a potentiometer, so we can set the speed. I still have the same dispatch and stop buttons, but these are going to change. I've added this emergency stop button and it, it's latching, it locks in place. To power it up, you twist it to unlatch it and it provides power to everything. And then you just slam it to kill power. That's kind of our emergency stop switch. We're going to have a regular stop switch on the back. And it'll be lighted so it'll be easy to find in the dark. Moving down the back, I have added a 25 amp circuit breaker. Uh, resettable just in case. Uh, I've taken my battery charger and moved it up so I can check the status lights easier. Uh, everything down here is just going to be dressed up and covered when um, I'm done with the cart. Now I've taken that circuit board and moved it out here to the back uh, because I want access to it. I want to see the status lights and I was mistaken with the name. It's not Polulu, it's Pololu. P-O-L-O-L-U. They make some awesome boards. So let me connect my computer. Because I want to show you some stuff. Alright. Okay, I've got the computer connected. Because uh, I want to show you some stuff in a moment. But I want to point out the lack of trailing encoder wheel. I made some mistakes 
doing math and was blaming it on the fact the wheel was trailing, I thought I was not getting a reliable connection. So I've moved the encoder to here. I built a bracket and built a coupler on the up on a the shaft of the motor. And I've added a bit of tape just so you could see the coupler moving. So that little bit of tape is just to see the rotation. What I'm doing is I'm I'm moving the cart back and forth. Now I want to show you what's happening on the software. This chart here, this red line up top, is the feedback that it's sensing. And then there's a purple line here telling me the error. It thinks it stopped, so this line should be flat. Now as I move the cart, you'll see the feedback is generating some pulses. Well, that's creating an error because it should be stopped, but it's sensing feedback. So that error is used in the math to correct. I also want to show I had four of these spring mechanisms, uh, one on each corner of this motor sub chassis. I still have two at the front, but in the back here, uh, I added this gas lifter and tied it to the frame of the cart and separate from the subframe. The reason for this is my garage floor is not exactly flat, so we needed the drive wheels to have some play to maintain constant pressure. So this lifter provides 22 and a half pounds of force regardless of uh, where the wheels are. In the future, we hope to have a ramp to take this in and out of the driveway. And that was another reason, because there's three points of contact. You can't have uh, all three wheels or all three points touching the ground at the same time if you go down a ramp. So something had to move and we decided to do the drive wheels. So I'm gonna pause and get the cart running because I want to have this run with the feedback turned off so you can see how the cart used to behave. It'll be uh, running real slow, empty, and then I'll hop on so you should see it run slower. I hop off, you'll see it speed up a little bit. Then I'm gonna pause again and turn feedback on and you should see the cart maintain a constant speed as I hop on or hop off. So give me a moment. I've got the cart running without feedback. You can see how fast it's running now, and I'm going to hop on, and you notice it slowed down, and now I'm going to hop off, and it speeds back up. Running empty like this is not an issue, but when we had the cart fully loaded with an adult and three kids, there's a slight incline in part of the garage where it couldn't make it up. Also. If we set the cart to run with three adults and then two kids get on it and we forget to adjust it back down, the kids are going to fly through the uh, maze. Uh, not desirable. So let me turn the feedback on and show you that. I've enabled feedback and I'm going to start this. Oh, we have a temporary stop line on the ground here for testing. That's why it stopped a moment ago. Uh, so I'm going to dispatch this, and when it comes around, I'll hop on in the same spot. I slowed the cart down a little bit, closer to what we will actually run it in the maze. So I'm going to hop on, and it maintains speed. Now I'm going to hop off, and it hasn't sped up. Next I will show you some of the feedback on the uh, graph, what the motor's doing. And, um, what else? Oh, I'll show you the uh, gas lifter, how that works as this runs around the circle. Okay, sorry for the reflection. Uh, let's see if I can pick out which, which line I want. 
Uh, in this chart, that's a lot going on. Okay, this green line right here is the duty cycle of the motor. That's the target as it's trying to speed up and slow down to maintain this pink line right here. Uh, that is the feedback. That's what it's actually measuring. So it's cycling the motor up and down to try to keep this line as solid as possible. Now I'm going to hop off the cart. I'm now walking beside it. Whoops. We're at the stop bar. Uh, as you can see, everything went back down to zero. So I'm getting back on the cart because I don't have room. Sorry. So it's speeding back up. You can see the red line spiked on takeoff and then settled down. So now here I'm going to hop off. I'm now beside the cart. Oops. There's not enough room. Sorry. So I'm beside the cart and you can see it is still maintaining that red line where it needs to be. Sorry for my finger in the video. So coming to the stop bar right there. Okay. So now we're underneath the cart and we've got the gas lifter here tied to the bottom frame of the chassis. So I'm going to start the cart and you can watch as it goes over the terrain you should be able to see it slightly moving up and down. I think it's more noticeable on the gap down here. And as we come around to the stop, you'll see it shift. So starting back up. So that's been the off-season update of the Dark Right cart. Once we get this put back together, I've got materials on hand to start building a second cart. So we got to come up with a name for that cart. Thanks for watching.